Hello everyone, welcome to another Yukon UPDC construction project update. My name is Luke Gant. Today is Sunday, July 16, 2017. We are on the Gamble Pavilion ceiling and roof repair project. We're going to be taking you through progress. We are on the fifth floor of the parking garage. What a vantage point we can see here. We have almost 24 men on the roof right now. We have two crews at the top installing new panels. We're going to take you inside and show you how magnificent they look. And we have another crew here that is dropping panels. They've dropped these panels in this section right over through here and they're putting the finished battens over the top. The hub covers. Very nice. So just a note, when they do a lot of work in the areas, they scuff the panels become because they've just been sitting there. There's dust and dirt. It's an aluminum panel. They get a little bit of a rub from the bottom of their sneakers, but that does wear off and take time. a minute. We are looking, we are turning the ceiling white. We're actually into full-scale production. It's not raining. Today is a Sunday. And as I mentioned in the intro, you want to get the job done, you got to work when it doesn't rain. It's about 80 panels up here. Sunday morning, they'll be close to 100 by the end of the day. The weather's cooperating. I'll take you in a minute and show you what it's like, how panels drop. So we have a crew dropping panels, and we have two crews installing panels. They're closed up. It's almost lunchtime right now. We'll show you uh, some panels going up a little bit later. The first part of the process, the panel comes down. So there are some five packs. This is a five pack here. The center hub was released, the hangers on the side. All right, we're gonna see a little sunlight coming in here for a minute. It's actually a pretty amazing view when they remove the panel. So that's the first time this panel has been moved in 27 years. Black rope's what we call a tagline, what you see here. So it's an old fashioned way. All right, a little direction, one side's lower than the other here. Get yourself level. They'll take you to a particular point. The rest is labor. We got a platform right here built. Guys on the floor pulling it down. So these platforms are new, new to us right here. All right, so it's off center from where it was dropped. And that's the process Quince. of taking the panels down. Panels up at the top are dropped. We're actually seeing the guys put the, uh, the permanent roof panels back in place until the panels are wrapped and go back up through there. The panels come down, they get broken apart. It's a, that's a five pack that's broken apart. They go from there down onto the floor into these piles right over through here. The next location, they come over to here. The old fabric is removed. The old glue is removed from here. Then the panels go down in the next section over here where the wrappers wrap them down into here. But before the panels are wrapped, we have the splice section here for the fabric. We'll take you through that in just a second. The assembly process is to take the uh, old uh, product off. So they're suited up, they have masks. A little bit of the, the dirtier part of the process of taking, uh, taking the old fabric off. Once the old fabric is removed, then so they clean the glue. Up. Is applying an orange based product to release some of the stick, the stickum on the original. So that's after 30 years, just about um, 1990, these were put together, 27 years, and that same glue that we're using today is stuck like the day it was put on. They give it a chance for that to activate, and then they use the uh, wire wheel to finish the process. So this is the assembly stage. Got a nice setup going on here. This is the fabric. Right, it's three parts on the fabric. It's a finish, a poly blend, a reinforcement inside, and then a reflective on here. So these guys, in order, the big deal here is to keep everything, keep the wrinkles out. So they have a couple of clips to hold it in place. They got a nice jig here on the tip. And the short story is here's the old panel. The old covering has been taken off. They lay it down. It's been cleaned. We took you through the cleaning process, how the uh, edge is in great shape. They use a two by four to hold it back. 2,100 times this has got to happen. These guys wear a mask, the insulation kind of breaks loose, blows all over the place. So after a while you get a little speed going on it. We actually had to add a little 
puff of insulation to make the points tie in there to uh, keep any gaps from uh, coming into the panels. And uh, simply it's a double stick tape. You can see the fellow, he's applying it down on here. They go around the whole perimeter, put the double stick tape. Pretty strong 3M product, goes around. And these guys are doing a fantastic job. Yeah, the double stick tape gets peeled off, right? They pull it tight. Fabric is held on the other end up in here. So it's about setting, you know, pulling it taut, pulling first it straight they do the long end over there first, and then they pin it back down here. Then they can pull the fabric taut here. So the wrap, that's the deal. The guy's doing an excellent job, so they pull one side tight. Working all the wrinkles all the way out, nice and tight. Tape sticks really good. The points here, Carlos is wrapping it. Puts a lot of double stick tape on the back. Okay, the station here is the uh, fabric assembly. We have Joe and Alejo, also from Houston, Texas. So the process here, you see the actually the tape on there. It rolls right off the roll. These guys know where to cut it. What we're watching here is Alejo is putting a, a 3M product double stick tape has to be exactly on the edge so none of the tape overhangs nor does any of the fabric overhang. So pretty precise process here. Little roller, flatten it out, make sure all the bubbles are here. They stretch it, we see a couple of uh, clamps all the way to the edge. They use a little duct tape to hold it down through here. Make sure there's no bubbles or tight. He's going to show us the final step here. He just pulled the double stick tape off because it's taut. It's held with the, it. It just falls right into place exactly where he wanted it to go. Use a couple of other rolls of tape to flatten it out here. Lessons learned for us all. It's all about assembly here. We see Lane out here. These are all the fasteners. These are all the hangers that hold up the panels. The center hub here that gets bolted up through the structural steel. The smaller holes where all the six angles come in, they get bolted to the center hub. And finally, these are the straps out towards the edge of the panels. Gets these straps. They get fastened with these plates that we see here, wrap around the beam. We'll show you that up a little closer on the roof. station here. So we have a six pack, we have a three pack. Can't always take up the six packs depending on where the cables are at. Sometimes the pieces have to go one at a time. Sometimes you can get three at a time. It's the most productive to be able to take upwards to six. So I showed you where they were stored. There's the hub cover. You see each individual one is bolted and that's the center bolt that goes up through the structural steel there. Six panels. These are the hangers that come out to the edge. These clip on pretty easy up in the top. All right, and the fasteners in here, these are tight right through here. So these just hang on the top of the beam in place. The really the, the hard point is to pull the uh, to pull the uh, center center piece up, gets a Loctite and the uh, double nuts that go up on the structural steel. So they're all lined up in sequence, knowing exactly which panels are going to go up next. Some singles through here, and again, as I mentioned, the guys are just putting together a three pack right over here to go up for this afternoon's assemblies. We'll take a quick look at the mock-up here. This is the exterior mock-up. These are the new hub covers here, the new hub cover bolt. These are the new batten strips, the new gaskets. Nice and tight through here. We went through fasteners a couple of times in here to get the right fastener. So we do have the right fastener now. So you can see here we clean the panels. We clean the panels to get a nice tight seal in there. That should blend in after a short period of time. So this is the new screws here with this is a combination uh, EPDM and I think a stainless uh, concave washer underneath there it gives it a lot more strength. There's actually a lot more, a lot more bearing capacity, uh, pull capacity to seal these up better. Yeah, these are the new fasteners here that are approved. Nice seal, very nice seal. Looking good, so we are into production. The water test inside the mock-up area passed. Before we continue to our most amazing aerial footage, let's take a minute to thank our colleague, 
Milton Levin for his continued effort on all of our projects with his aerial photography. We're now flying over the mock-up area, exactly where, where I was just standing a minute ago. And I wanted to show you that we'll just barely be able to see a newness in color in the hub covers and the battens. And they will eventually fade in to match the same color of the roof. What a great opportunity to see the men at work. This was shot last weekend and they're in the process of dropping one panel at a time. This particular location doesn't warrant to be able to drop six at one time. So the man in the center is reaching down, grabbing and loosening the bolts on the hub cover that I showed you on the floor, and then they'll drop one panel at a time. The steepest part of the roof here, this apex uh, coming up from the gutter right in here where the guys are working here, these, uh, you know, they opened up the roof, dropping the panels to be rewrapped. They're putting the skins back on here. Uh, the good thing is here we have the new battens and gaskets to go in so we don't have to caulk this area but you can just see by the uh, by the vertical it's a pretty steep area here they got the cart right next to it and uh, it's going gaskets are going in tight looking good okay just this for perspective perspective on the steepness I was just right alongside of them over here and it's almost vertical in this area right in here. So they, you, Junior. they have these positioning straps around their waist which allows them to hold the safety rope in one spot which really works well. Hot day, very hot, water going up. Coming up, Junior, 38 Once again, you, today is July 16th, 2017, and we thank you for your interest in our university projects. Remember to subscribe to our Yukon UPDC YouTube channel. Once subscribed, under subscriptions, to the right, under the bell, a check next to send me all notifications for this channel with a save. This way, anytime we add a project or update a project, you'll receive an automatic email. We thank you for your interest in our university projects. Have a great day.